Hello everyone, welcome to the lab on integrates of the technology. Today we will be comparing single gate MOSFET, double gate MOSFET, carbon nanotube effect and nanowire FET with the help of virtual lab at nanohub.org. So let's look into the aim of the experiment. The aim of the experiment is to compare the characteristics of the four transistors. They will be compared on the basis of drain current versus gate voltage relation, drain current versus drain voltage relation, mobile charge versus gate voltage relation, quantum capacitance versus gate voltage relation. So once you are on the nanohub.org page, click on resources and then select tools. Once you have selected tools, you will be redirected to a new page. On this page, in the second column, select FET Toy. Now, click on Launch Tool. You will be redirected to this page. Now, if I zoom in, I can see the structure of the device, the parameters of the device, and I can also find a drop-down menu to select the device. So as you can see, there are four devices available for selection. For example, if I select silicon nanowire MOSFET, the structure of the silicon nanowire MOSFET and the dimensions will be displayed on the screen. Let's start with the next step of entering parameters for each device. For single gate MOSFET, double gate MOSFET, Nanowire MOSFET Carbon Nanotube MOSFET Make sure that the environment specifications are same as you have to compare all the devices. Once we are done with entering all the parameters, we can start with simulating by simply clicking the simulate button here. Once you have simulated, we will find that here there is one more drop down button to select the kind of result required. So as discussed earlier, we are going to compare four devices on the basis of their characteristics. Let's start with comparing drain current versus gate voltage characteristics. Here you are expected to plot the characteristics for each device and note the current ID at the edge of saturation. Next, let's observe ID versus VDS and calculate the slope of the graph in saturation region. Research says that CNT FET and nanotube FETs are faster devices as compared to the bulk CMOS. So, let's plot mobile charge density versus gate voltage for all the devices and observe the difference. Since quantum capacitance influences propagation delay, Change in quantum capacitance with gate voltage will help us to comment on the speed of the device. Hence, plot quantum capacitance versus gate voltage for all the devices. Once you have plotted and observed the characteristics, you will be able to fill the comparison table shown. These are the post lab questions to be submitted along with the lab write up. Thank you.